Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of how to live stream 24 7. Before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. A few days ago I asked you guys what you'd like to see next, and the majority of you voted for a Nightbot tutorial. What is Nightbot? Nightbot is a chatbot for YouTube that allows you to automate your live stream chat with basic moderation and chat features. As you have probably seen from my live streams, there is a user named Nightbot that is frequently making statements and responding to people's commands. Today I'm going to show you the installation of Nightbot and a tutorial on some basic commands that you may have seen on my live stream. To start your Nightbot installation, go to beta.nightbot.tv and click on the sign up button. Once you have logged on to Nightbot, this is the dashboard. In the top right corner, you'll see Join Channel. Uh, to install Nightbot onto your YouTube channel, click on Join Channel. This will give you the basic steps on how to install your, um, your Nightbot onto your YouTube channel. Uh, just below on point number two, it says Enter and then it has an address. You want to copy that link. And click on community settings once you're in community settings of a YouTube channel under moderators copy and paste that link this will bring up Nightbot into your moderator links click on save After you've installed Nightbot, you should no longer see Join Channel at the top right corner, but instead Part Channel. This means you are correctly paired to YouTube. On the left side of your screen is your tabs, or your Nightbot's features. At the top is your dashboard. Your dashboard is your main screen, giving you some st statistics on your, your live chats, such as total number, number of messages, or uh, total number of commands done. It's also where you joined your channel originally, which is this page here. And now you see part channel in the top right corner. Just below the dashboard is the commands tab. The commands tab is a two part tab consisting of the customs tab and the default tab. The default tab is self explanatory as it gives you descriptions directly below on what the commands do and how they are activated. If one of these commands are set to enabled, anyone in your live stream can use the command. For my 24 7 live stream, I only allow exclamation mark command enabled as it gives the user your full list of custom commands. Next is the custom commands tab. In here you can make your own custom commands. To make a command simply click on the add commands button. The first line is the commands line. As it says below, this is your command name. It is usually prefixed with an exclamation mark, but you can make it anything. For example, if you want a command to help someone find the music playlist you made, your command can could either be song list, exclamation mark song list, or exclamation mark music. For this example, I'm going to use two advanced variables to make the command more unique. So under message, I'm going to type in hey, dollar sign, open bracket, to user, close bracket. And what that does is it it will say the uh, the user's name whoever does the this this command here whatever command you put above so for this example if someone puts exclamation mark music it will say hey to that user so in my case hey ground control uh, so once you have in that let's say hey thanks for requesting the music here is the link. And that's where you copy and paste your link. And then something else cool to add is let's do open bracket, couple spaces, um, dollar sign, open bracket, count, close bracket. And then a couple more spaces. People have requested the 
playlist. So, however many people use this command will show up in the count. So let's say, for example, my shout out command that I have, over 12,000 people or almost 12,000 people have requested shout outs. So 12,000 people have requested the shout out. So these are some of the examples that I've used in my live stream. Um, exclamation mark food. So I have exclamation mark pizza, uh, tea, coffee, and then using the uh, advanced variables that I showed you in the last section there, uh, you can put together your own little statement. So, uh, hey, to user, do you like coffee? Um, and then you can do the brackets, and then you can do what I just showed you about counting the uh, the amount of people that have used that command. And then the exclamation mark country, uh, for that one, it's going to take a lot of time, but what I did is I, I did exclamation mark and I added pretty much every country I could think of. And then I, I did a count for how many people live in that country. So if you're going to use the exclamation mark country, you're supposed to be living there. Uh, obviously some people that don't live there have used the command, but it still works the same way. Uh, and then the music, like I showed you in the example. And then the, the two below here, the uh, exclamation mark poll new title option one two that's for making a a poll on straw poll like you've seen my t-series versus PewDiePie poll uh, so while you're in your chat uh, I'll pull up a video here while you're in your chat all you got to do is do exclamation mark poll and then add a title so you can do t-series versus PewDiePie and then the line is just below your your backspace so hold shift and then click that and do yes and or PewDiePie and then T-Series or yes, no, depending on your question. And then your weather lookup. This is another command that you'd want to add while you're in your chat. Uh, I'm not really sure how to add this in your command list. Uh, so exclamation mark weather lookup. So add this directly in your chat while you're in your live chat. Uh, money side, money sign, open bracket, weather, money sign, open bracket, Curie, close bracket, close bracket. Uh, so what this will do is it'll allow your your uh, live stream viewers to um, type in exclamation mark weather and then space and then open bracket or sorry exclamation mark weather and then they can choose any city they want and it will give you the uh, the weather or current weather uh, temperature wind speeds things like that currently for that city now that we have gone through commands we'll go down to giveaways under giveaways is where you can set giveaways to your live chat audience using this page you can search the users you can choose your eligibility giveaway type and then you can just roll a dice and it chooses randomly under logs you can search past history of your channel uh, live stream chats regulars you can set regulars in your live stream chat so if someone's coming to your live stream frequently you can add them into here song request is a unique feature of nightbot you can actually load songs under nightbot and have uh, nightbot play them directly and people can actually request songs in your live chat and uh, they'll get put into a queue and uh, Nightbot will play those songs. Spam protection protection is highly recommended. I just use blacklist uh, words and uh, links usually. So blacklist words means uh, you can actually set certain phrases and words that you do not allow in your chat. So usually offensive words or profanity or it says patterns in here so you can add any kind of pattern at all you can uh, so you can set that excessive caps and excessive emotes I usually disable because the more people are kinda if it's spam that's another thing but if someone's just typing something in all caps it will block them so and excessive emotes once your chat starts filling up you get lots of viewers people start spamming more but I kinda see it more as engagement so I use those I, uh, 
leave those disabled. Links just means they're self-promoting usually, so I'll enable that. Uh, and excessive symbols, again, same with excessive caps and emotes, I'll just leave that uh, enabled. Or sorry, disabled. So uh, I'm going to allow people to do that. And then repetitions, if someone's doing it uh, the same thing multiple times over and over and over, uh, this will mute them or ban them for a couple seconds. So I will enable this one. Uh, just below spam protection is another important one. It's timers. So click on add. Let's say you want a uh, nightbot to say, or pretty much nightbot to promote your channel every five minutes or so, you can do that. So uh, under name, doesn't matter what it is, but you can put subscribe. The message, it's already defaulted here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then a link just below. So you can type exactly that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you can copy and paste your link. So every, um, just below that you have interval. So every 15 minutes it's set to, um, or it's set for Nightbot to post, subscribe my, to, to my YouTube channel every 15 minutes. And let's say your, uh, your live chat isn't quite picking up any traction yet. So you're not getting many viewers and not many chatters. Uh, a cool feature here is chat lines. So it's gonna require 10 lines uh, measured in lines per 10 minutes so or sorry lines per five minutes so it requires 10 lines every five minutes every 15 minutes to be able to post this so um, if there's multiple viewers people actually viewing to subscribe to my channel it will post it every 10 lines um, but if there's nobody viewing your channels it's not going to just look like spam so Let's say you set it to every five minutes and you set it every one, two lines. Um, it's not going to have subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel over and over and over. So it's going to look less spammy. So it's good to set it a little higher if you're a less popular channel. Uh, and just below timers is integration. So you can integrate your, um, your night bot with your discord. Highly recommend using Discord as it's going to increase engagement for your your YouTube channel. And uh, you can also use Moxie, which I don't use. Uh, just below integrations is help docs. This is where you're going to find all your advanced variables, all your commands. If you don't really understand how I ex explain something, this is what I used originally how to learn. Um, as you can see, you have the two user at the bottom right corner here. Um, you have the count, so you can use these um, step by steps as well if mine didn't really uh, make sense. Uh, and then back onto the uh, the Nightbot dashboard, the very uh, last link here is uh, our last tab on your left hand side is support forum. Uh, if you don't understand anything and you don't want to ask me, you can ask me in my comments of how to do something exactly. You can go to support forum and ask any questions to the Nightbot experts. Hey guys, that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed, please comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.